Hey guys, and welcome to the latest Kronos AV Review Diaries. Today, we want to take a look at a really, really unique speaker. Um, it's a new speaker range here at Kronos AV, and that is from French manufacturer Diptyque. Um, for anyone that isn't familiar with Diptyque, Diptyque, um, as I mentioned before, are a French brand. They're located about 50 kilometers from Toulouse, um, and all of their speakers are made in France, in-house, um, in their own custom-made factory. As you can see, they're a very unique looking speaker. They follow what many would guess would call sort of an electrostatic or a panel style speaker. However, Diptyque call these isodynamic. And that is because they are very unique compared to any other speaker on the market. They have their own patented technologies um, and a lot of new designs and ideas that are really revolutionary. And they're definitely pushing the boundaries um, of speakers in this range. The speaker I have here in front of me is called the DP115. So this is the second model in the range, and it comes in at £9,199. Um, Diptyque do a really nice range of products um, at various price points. There's normally one in there for everybody. And one of the other really, really nice things about Diptyque is, as you can see here, we have this beautiful custom copper finish with Diptyque. For around about £500, you can choose from over 160 different colors. Um, and there's lots of customization that you can do to make them really your own. So um, if you do want something a little bit special or a really unique color, Diptyque can always do that for you. And pretty much any customization you want, they're always open to discussing. So you can really, really make these your own. In regards to some of the amazing technology that the Tick are using, um, as you can see here, these are obviously exceptionally thin. They're a very small speaker um, in terms of the space they take up. That is actually because of a lot of the techniques that the Tick um, have come up with and they've actually patented since. So, for example, a panel speaker a lot of you will be familiar with will be something like the Martin Logan range. But of course, the Martin Logan range, most of the time, they have an active subwoofer at the base and that obviously means they're a bit deeper because they have to create that box in order to create the base. Diptyque have to find a way around this and it brings a number of advantages um, as well. So what Diptyque have invented is what's called as a bipolar magnetic system and in really basic basic terms what we have here is we have two magnets running at the front at the back. We have an aluminium foil through the middle with two pieces of plastic beside it. Now what that is doing is essentially, in really layman's terms, is creating one large driver. But that has a lot of advantages. Firstly, it is perfectly time aligned. Because it's the one driver, it moves in sync. Um, and as well as that, it disperses the sound so much better. Another quite unique thing with Diptyque is the sound actually fires forwards, but also backwards as well. So you can use these close to the back wall, it doesn't really affect them. But obviously that spurs of sound makes these very transparent, makes them very airy sounding. But that large magnetic system that they use means that these have bass. And that's how they've managed to eradicate the need for an active subwoofer. And it also, as Diptyque were explaining to us, it means that you're not mixing a panel design with a traditional cone style driver. So it's a much more fluid sound in their opinion. The other nice thing as well, as I mentioned before, because it is essentially one large driver, it is in essence perfectly time aligned. So for example, with a more conventional speaker, you have a small tweeter um, and a bass unit, for example, those two drivers are different in size and therefore take much more take a lot of different effort to move them. With this, obviously, it moves as one. So it gives you this really precise, fast, punchy bass and a really fast dynamic sound. As well as that, to take also use a tweeter, which is quite unique in this style of speaker. So again, this gives you all of those tops, those really nice high ends, and it delivers a really revolution, revolutionary sorry, sound compared to anything else you've probably heard on the market. Um, they're obviously, in our opinion, a really, really beautiful speaker as well. Um, very, very beautifully designed. And one of the nice things as well is these are ultra, ultra reliable. Depending on obviously, people have different opinions, of course, but 
one of the things that some people are concerned about with panel speakers, electrostatics, or isodynamics is how reliable they are. If what if something goes wrong with the panel, they're difficult to repair, et cetera, et cetera. You don't have these issues with the diptychs. They're ultra reliable. That is something diptych have put a lot of effort and time into to make sure that these are something that are going to last for a long, long time. And that obviously gives you a lot of peace of mind. Um, and again, from our experience, speaking with Diptyque, um and the new UK distributor, they've been so, so helpful. Any questions we have, backup support's been absolutely fantastic, um, which has given us a lot of confidence, obviously moving forward to offer these speakers to our customers. Another nice feature actually of the Diptyques when we were mentioning the tweeter. Um, so you can essentially place these speakers whichever way around you wish. So for example, the idea behind the takes is they want obviously the sound focused on the listener itself. So say for example you have a, a quite a big room where we have these here of course we have this speaker sitting to the right hand side or my right hand side you can actually put this on the left for example which means the tweeter is on the inside which is going to be closer to the listening position. Again if you have a smaller room you can basically do the opposite where the tweeter will be on the outside. And again, that's going to be much better in terms of firing the music towards the listener. So it's a really clever, simple design, but something that is really helps when you're trying to use these in various rooms. They really, really are a stunning speaker. They have that really punchy bass, as I mentioned before, but yet they maintain that really nice streamlined finish. It is a very revolutionary technology. It is patented, as I say, by Diptyque. So you're not going to see this sort of technology in any other speaker. And I think, in my opinion, for the price, they are sensationally good. They have that transparency. They have that openness, which is really hard to replicate on any other speaker besides the likes of a panel or electrostatic or an isodynamic. But you don't lose the bass. The other advantage Diptyque have told us is, as well, and we can hear this for ourselves, is by not having an active subwoofer, you're removing all the electronics from the speaker. So essentially, you're losing all that noise or any chance of interference. And because these are passive, again, they're much quieter than a lot of other speakers out there. So really what the take have done is they've taken all of the negatives that sometimes you see in speakers of this style and just completely flipped that and turned them into positives. And what that's giving you, as I say, is a hugely transparent sound that still has fast, punchy, responsive bass. Um, and again, they work in pretty much all rooms. They don't take up a lot of space. You can pretty much design them any way you want. Um, they do come in black or white as standard. So, um, But as I said before, for an extra around £500, you have 160 different colors you can choose from. With the higher end models as well, they use a leather band around the edging here, which again, you can customize pretty much anything is possible and again with these being metal they're obviously very rigid very sturdy um very very strong stands so i mean if you have kids or anything like that there's nothing really to damage which is nice and overall we've seen um even when we were over at washington um at the show these were one of the star hits um at the show this is what a lot of people wanted to see and hear Obviously, since we've brought them in here at Kronos as well, we've seen a massive interaction from customers. Lots of curiosity, of course. Lots of people want to hear what they can do. Um, and they are doing really, really well. The positive feedback has been fantastic. Um, and again, a lot of people can't believe the base that you're able to achieve from a speaker such as this. And of course, in many homes, these are going to be a beautiful option. Um, if you're looking for something that doesn't look quite as traditional as a standard speaker and um, you want something that obviously you can design your own uh, way to take are perfect and in our opinion do come in at a really competitive price point but they very much stand on their own two feet so it is a really unique speaker and of course this is a very very quick overview video to give you an idea of the sound um, the only thing I would say is they take they're not the easiest speaker in the world to drive and um, these for example are 86 dB and the 6 ohm so they recommend a minimum of 60 watts per channel. Ideally, you know, we say you need something a little bit more powerful. They're not going to be running valve amps is basically what we're trying to say. They're not going to be running low power class A. You do want an amp with 
guts behind it to get the best out of these when these are powered correctly they are absolutely sensational um, so that's the only thing I would say is just make sure that you're using the right amplifier or if you are interested in the take range um, please feel free to get in touch we're always happy to help in terms of matching it up how these will work with your amplifier um, etc etc so but I say as long as you have the power really to use these they are very natural very neutral in terms of the brands that can be used with um, but just make sure you've got that power on hand and honestly these will really really sing for you so as I said before, there's a very, very quick overview video of the fantastic Tiptik loudspeakers. You can read much more into their technologies um, on their website. They go into a lot of detail and it's actually a really, really interesting read. Um, as well as that, we have some information on our website as well if you want to take a look. And as always, please feel free to check these out online or in store. We'd love to have you in to let you experience these for yourself. Um, we do have 0% finance. We have buy now, pay later and um, many ways to pay as well. So. If you want to fancy taking a listen to something a little bit different, um, I can only, only encourage you to come in and have a listen for yourself. You'll be really, really impressed. Um, and I hope you get the opportunity soon to experience the take for yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon in the next one. Scared you last night Though they were right to leave Right to use their wings to fly So the sound of the birds taking off Scared you last night Though they were right to leave Right to use their wings to fly I just can't figure out Is it too late or too is it right on time? Could it be right on? If the crow said it right, we could move out by dawn early. Could be right on time. Could be right on. So the sound of the first taking off scared you last night. They were right to leave, right to use their wings to fly. So the sound of the birds taking off scared you last night. Though they were right to leave, right to use their wings to fly. Kai staring at the ceiling, still traveling fear. Thinking if you rise, I'll rise We'll be waiting for the morning He'll crumbling strength Thinking if you rise, I'll rise, I'll run, I'll run
to her.